Hi hey guys, Bobby from Mechanical Alliance. I noticed a couple of posts in the group about people looking for alternatives to the tool trucks. Uh, we touched on this a little bit on a Tuesday Night Live a while ago, but it kind of got buried within the hour. So I figured I would go through my own box and pick out some of the tools that I have in there that are not tool truck brands, some of the things that are tool truck brands that are just rebranded from other companies, um, and generally just, you know, show you guys that there are alternatives if you want to use them, especially if you're newer in the field. Um, so I took my cell phone into my garage. It's got poor lighting. It, there's a lot of shuffling around. Um, so forgive the lack of quality when it comes to the uh, other part of this video. Um, but hopefully um, it will show you guys some things that you can go out and get for relatively short money. Um, that will really be of value to you. Uh, nobody needs to go out and buy a $500 set of sockets from Snap-on to do a job. Some of us like to. I'm one of them. Um, but I will almost never pay full price for tools. I will buy them off eBay. I'll find them used. Pawn shops, things like that. Um, and yes, if there's Snap-on dealers in here, and I know there's at least one, um, yeah, that's irritating to know that people do this. But we have toolboxes, we have tools, we have training, we have scan tools, we have some set of scopes. There's a lot of money we have invested in tools, and if we can save a buck here or there, I'm all for that, especially if you're just getting into the field. I will never advocate for a new technical onto a Snap-on or a Mac or a Cornwell or a Matco truck and be like, yes, you only need to buy things from here. And I was a new tech once, and I got bit by this really hard. You go onto the, the truck, it's all new shiny tools, and you're like, wow, these are the tools that the more experienced techs have. I want to be like them someday. You definitely can be like them someday, but the tools are not what makes the tech. So you, there's no reason to be going in there and dropping $10,000 on a toolbox when you've been in the field for three months. It's a bad idea. Um, so, yeah, um, so the other part of this will just be kind of grafted onto this. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely alternatives. Look for them. Uh, companies like SunX, GearWrench, um, some of the, uh, tool truck brands, you know, the, you, you don't need to buy the Snap-on stuff. You can buy the Bluepoint stuff. It works. Um, Mac has their expert line. It works companies like Gray Pneumatic. Um, and even when it comes down to it, some of the Harbor Freight stuff is worth its money. You know, you're, you're getting cheap stuff. I would not recommend their ratchets, even though I know some people do. Um, but impact sockets, things like that, there's no reason not to get them cheaper there. Um, I've heard, I haven't used it myself, but their Icon line is pretty good. Um, so that can be another alternative. And their toolboxes, their five drawer cart, I owned one. I had their 44 inch box. I had the 44 inch box cabinet and the um, drawer extension. Used them every day for two years. Totally filled to the max and they handled it. So don't think that you have to go and get the most expensive stuff. Buy what you can afford. Don't put yourself into even more debt just because you want a shiny toolbox or brand new shiny tools. Those will come in time. But when you're first getting into this, you, you have to pick and choose. You're, you're not going to need the $150 Snap-on ratchet. You're just not. Um, and now the Craftsman has kind of been bought in by Lowe's, start looking at the Craftsman stuff again. Cobalt, Husky, they're not bad for when you're starting off. Um, so... Yeah. So now we will cut to my wobbly toolbox video. Um, and if anyone has any questions about anything you see in there that I don't specifically mention, feel free to ask. I have the whole thing memorized as to what's where because it's been that way for a long time. So yeah, I, I will gladly help out anybody who wants to get good tools for good prices because I think that's one part of this industry that no one should have to deal with. So. Enjoy the tour. So, a few people were talking about 
um, alternatives, alternatives, sorry, to snap on. Um, so I figured I would just go through my box real quick and show you guys that there's plenty of alternatives. Um, these are all uh, 3 8 impact from Harbor Freight. And you can read it, it says Pittsburgh on it. Um, I've had those for years. There's a couple that I've lost. Actually, the set didn't come with a 15, so I just threw a 15 chrome from Mac in there. Um, any ones I've lost, I've replaced. And yes, I found Snap on stuff. eBay, I used. Um, these right here are Sun X. I have had these for 15 years. I have broken one of them. I have lost one of them. Replaced it with a Snap on. Again, eBay. Um, these are expert. They're the, I guess, the Mac equivalent of Blue Point. Uh, they're really solid. Uh, these one quarter impact. These are Sun X. I've had these forever. They work great. Uh, Mac Cornwell ATD. Great place to find specialty sockets like that. Uh, like Taurus Plus, which I labeled it. Um, you know, there's there's no reason you absolutely need to buy Snap-on stuff unless you absolutely want to. These are all Sun X. Uh, gear wrench. That is the eight-piece Master Sensor socket kit. Part number is four one seven two zero. That is a fantastic kit. I highly recommend anyone who ends up doing a lot of oxygen sensors or oil pressure sensors pick that up. Um, Master Cool infrared thermometer doing AC work, or also for looking up uh, looking for locked up calipers on brakes things like that. Uh, oil filter cup. This is from AST. AST makes a lot of stuff like this. So if you're looking for that stuff, um, go to them. This is oh, this is for four drive shaft bolts. It's 12 point. It swivels. Sun X. I don't even know if Snap On makes that. They may, they may not. Um, this is a Subaru differential. I th believe this is a T60. Um, but this is also made by AST. Let's see if I can get it focused on there. Um, and that, that's the part number, 2014-S-U-D-Y, I think, S-U-U-Y, and I can't barely read it, it looks like they didn't punch it into the tool all the way. Um, and then you have stuff like this, shallow sockets, these are Astro Pneumatic. So you can put these in a wrench where you can't get a ratchet in there low profile stuff awesome stuff i think they were like 50 bucks for the set something like that um so yeah there's there's no reason you absolutely have to buy snap on stuff there are plenty of other options out there things i will recommend that you buy from snap on as i break things ratchets buy snap on ratchets they're the best no question, and anyone who wants me to do a demonstration of why Harbor Freight are not as good, I will gladly do so. Because I have actually witnessed it, personally, of a Harbor Freight ratchet not being able to break a bolt loose because it has too much flex inside of its mechanism. Um, Blue Point. Blue Point. I have had both of those sets for about 15 years, and I have broken maybe two of them. They work. Don't overstress them. They'll be fine. Um, Snap-on wrenches. I would spend the money, but I would, if you can, find them used. You can build a set for a hell of a lot less than buying a whole set. Um, these are the long double box wrenches. These ones are specifically from Mac. Snap-on makes them, and I believe one or two other companies make them. They're lifesavers. Buy a set. Um, giant wrenches like that. I found them at Sears when Sears was closing. I would never pay $45 for one of these wrenches. I would pay $10 for one because you never know that one day you might need one. Screwdrivers. 
I've got Craftsman, I've got Snap-on, I've got No Name, I've got, yeah. Buy what you want. They're going to break. If you use them like a pry bar, they're going to break. Um, like, this is a bit set from Harbor Freight. I, I don't really care. <laughs> Um, one of the other good companies that you can use that has a lot of odds and ends is a company called Lyle. Um, this is from them. This is made in USA, for those of you who care, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, all this other stuff, like, these are Snap-on. I scored those off eBay for, like, next to nothing. This, I have no idea where this came from. It's some random pick, pose pick, these, these two. No idea. They could have come from a parts store. I, I really have no clue. Pliers. Channel lock. You can get these at uh, Home Depot. Get the channel lock brand. They're solid. Uh, Vice Grips. Get the Vice Grip brand. Or Milwaukee. Either way, they're good. Um, no reason to pick up anything that's like, you know, snap on Vice Grips. They, they're no different than anything else. Um, another company here that makes some good stuff, OEM Tools, focus, it doesn't want to focus, OEM Tools, they have a lot of green handles, um, this is another one, Easy Red, Easy Red makes a lot of really crazy little things like these pliers, which you're like, I'll never use those, you say that until you're like, damn, I can't get to that hose clamp, and then you need them, um, yeah, that's about it for that. By the way, you're getting the toolbox tour at the same time. Battery tools, Milwaukee all the way. Um, I have used them all. I much prefer Milwaukee to anything else. Air tools, Astro Pneumatic, fantastic little gun. Little 3.8s, super small. Gets into all the, all the good places. Um, I believe this is also Astro Pneumatic. Yeah, yeah, by Astronomatic, their Onyx brand, 90 degree cutoff wheel, saves lives. Um, and then, you know, I've had this Mac 3.8 gun for, God, 18 years. Um, Snap-on PH3050B air hammer. Uh, there's only one that's better than that, and that is a Chicago pneumatic, the one that Eric O on South Main Auto uses and uh, raves about. Air impact gun, if you guys are using it, Ingersoll Rand. I would not spend the money on a snap-on gun. Ingersoll Rand can be gotten off Amazon on sale. Uh, let's see. OTC, another decent thing, especially this uh, axle set. Relatively cheap. Uh, one of them is up in the top drawer right now. This is the common one that I use for Subarus when I work there. Uh, for stuff like that. Some of the OTC stuff is not the best, I will say that. Um, I've had some of their tools fail. Uh, Tecton, another great little brand you can find on Amazon. They also, I believe, have a lifetime warranty. Great customer service. Uh, KD, uh, that is the best serpentine belt kit ever. It, I think it is now sold under gear wrench. I don't know if that part number is still legit, but if you don't have one, get one. It'll save you so much time doing, uh doing serpentine belts. Uh, this Craftsman set, which if you open it up, you will see it looks like the Snap-on set that they sell you for twice or three times the price. All of these are made by a company called Lang. All of these, any company you see, they're all made by Lang. Which is this company right here, Lang Tools. Um, anytime you see a thread restorer kit, um, anything like that, chances are Lang made it and somebody else rebranded it. So, keep that in mind. Um, you can save yourself a ton of money just by going and buying Lang tools instead of buying the Snap-on version. Um, oh yeah, little wheel, wheel stud alignment pins. Don't spend the extra time fighting something to, uh, actually I can't even get into that drawer. Um, to put a wheel on a car. Get those pins, throw them in there, and uh, they will uh, make your life a little bit easier. And now I have to wheel everything out of the way. And extensions. 
this is a like eight dollar utensil tray from Bed Bath and Beyond. It, I found this on Garage General. Somebody else had done it. I'm like, that's the greatest idea I've ever seen in my life. And so I did it myself. It works fantastic. Yeah, it takes up some drawer space, but quarter inch, regular three eighths, three eighths with wobbles and locks, half inch, long ones, all your different universals, half to three eighths, three eighths to half, all that stuff. Super easy, quick to look at and uh, figure out what's where. <sighs> Random brake tools. There's not much I can say about that. This thing, as I'm sure many of you have, this is the Cornell version. Lang also makes this. So everyone else you see just rebranded it. So you can even find those at like Advanced Auto Parts. They will sell those. Um, these little things for pinching off lines, fantastic. Um, this is from Mac Tools. 10 millimeter, eight millimeter for doing uh, bleeders on brake calipers. Fantastic little thing. Uh, files, Harbor Freight. Punches and chisels are Harbor Freight, though I would not really recommend them. They, uh, they're kind of weak, not going to lie. I would spend the money on good punches and uh, good chisels, because if one of them does break, the, the, the splinters and stuff going at you will, uh, will suck. Uh, some super specialty tools. That is the company I mentioned earlier, Lyle. I'm sure you've all seen these boxes they're they're white and red um they're fantastic for the price they sell a whole bunch of random little stuff these so these are a copy of, or they're not a copy they're kind of this they're the same idea they're called like i don't know swedish something um vice grips uh, you've seen, you've probably seen them in other companies. I think Snap-on actually makes the best version of them. Um, definitely need them for uh, doing alignments up in the Northeast or anywhere in the Rust Belt. Uh, this is an awesome little thing for doing inner tie rods. If you can get to them, it has a little cam pin here that locks onto it. You twist it, it pops it off. If you can't get that in there, you know, you have the long tube... <laughs> which you have to find all the keys for. That can be a pain in the ass. So if the other tool works, fantastic. So yeah, um, hammers. We all love hammers, don't we? We love hammers. Trustyhammers.com, great place to get good hammers. Harbor Freight, great place to get these hammers because they are totally disposable. Blow them apart, who cares? They're like 10 bucks in their lifetime warranty. Um, these, Stanley. See, uh, Stanley, anti-vibe, okay. Mac tools, anti-vibe. They are the same hammers. Don't pay the money for the Mac tools version. Go to Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon or wherever. Find the Stanley version. They're all, they're exactly the same. This hammer, which is like a three or five pound engineer's hammer, which is usually what I use to hit off brake rotors, was like $18. This one, which I bought for Mac, was $80. Um, it's not worth it. They're hammers. You know, they're the exact same thing. If you have a Mac guy and you're like, well, he'll be able to get it replaced for me. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the same argument as driving down to Home Depot to replace something as opposed to waiting for the tool truck. No, but uh, yeah. Let's see, Brenzomatic mount gas torch. Pick them up at Home Depot. Definitely pick some up there if you need a quick torch thing. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> you definitely don't need to buy Snap-on stuff. Yes, some of it is nice. Yes, some of it is built better than others. But when it comes down to it, buy what you can afford. Make sure that you can uh. You know, you're not going into debt for tools as much as you're doing everything else. Um, also, toolboxes. Yes, these are both Snap-on. I pay for them both in cash. Right now, Harbor Freight, five-drawer cart. Great place to start if you need to start. 
Um, their Icon stuff is pretty solid. Their 44-inch line is pretty solid. There's, you know, if you have to have snap on it, Harbor Freight makes one of these now. And I think they're, uh, I want to say like 600 bucks, 700 bucks, something like that. Like, they, and it's literally exactly the same as the snap on one. Um, so, if they were out when I bought this, I, I wouldn't have bought this. I would have bought that. But, it is what it is. Um, any questions, anyone want any kind of advice on looking for tools, places to find them, shoot me a message. I will gladly help you find them because I've done this for a long damn time and I know where all the deals are. So, yeah. Have a good day, everybody.